Here we go. It's the Keanu Show. Get him, get him, get him, get him. It's almost my favorite holiday, y'all. Homecoming week. On this episode of Texan Talk, my Unos are giving you advice to prepare for next week, as well as a little homecoming secret only I have for you, and even an emotional Uno this week. But first, some thoughts on homecoming. Take it away, Unos. Christmas for Texans, and not just being a Texas resident, but being a Tarleton Texan. Week of Christmas. Everything else is just, yeah, it's like Hanukkah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole week. It's more than one day. It's more like Hanukkah. <laughs> In three words, if I could describe homecoming week, it's busy, fun, and unforgettable. Dang, that was good. That was good, right? <laughs> homecoming is awesome, but you don't sleep. I didn't sleep a whole lot. Well, I did sleep, but it was when I was supposed to beat the drum. Fastest yet slowest week of all time. Like, it's literally a tradition every day. Yeah, it's just like everyone comes together, you know, and then we all just have a good time. We all just do everything together. We all go eat together, picnic. We all do yell together. Yell's so fun. It's, it's a great time. We just all really get together as one. One big happy family. One, one big happy purple family. One big purple happy family. <laughs> You're going to be up 24-7, and if you think even then you'll have time to cram in schoolwork, you might be wrong. Here's some advice on time management during HOCO week. I mean, I'm going to give them a politically incorrect answer because it's only one week out of 16. So do as much as you can, but homecoming only comes once a year. And you can always retake a class. Homecoming is apparently during midterms, which is kind of scary. Um, so plan on not sleeping. I actually had to check and see how much caffeine you needed to overdose on caffeine last year because I was drinking so much, I was terrified. Yeah. It's hard since there's so much stuff going on, but you just gotta manage your time well. Get it all done before the sun goes down. Way ahead of time. So you can have fun when the sun goes down. Yeah, just time management. It's all about time management. Cause that yeah. can get real tricky real fast. If you try to do it ahead of time, get it out of the way, and go eat some purple pancakes. Well, my advice is to get uh, all of your important and essays uh, study a week ahead. So you have plenty of time to enjoy homecoming without worrying about the less important things like school. So just get everything done before and then enjoy yourself the whole week. Do what you can beforehand. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Don't skip the class. I mean, you know, just, just always go to class. It'll look good on you for going to class. The teachers notice that. Even if you had like 12 pearl pancakes the previous night, still go to class. During UNO student body president's Laura Texan talk this week, I got a Hoko scoop just for y'all. Oh, Jake Webb's calling me. Hey, you're on Texan Talk right now. Oh. Well, I don't know what you're I don't know. I was just going to go try and get you a duck. Is that exciting for Texan Talk? <gasps> you're going to get me a duck? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> yes. I need an Oscar P for homecoming. I need an Oscar P. <laughs> I want it to walk yeah. with the Plowboys, and the Plowboys yeah, is going to take care of it. Need Oscar P for yes. Will you find me an Oscar P? Yep. Yes. Okay. This just made, that made my day. And now, an emotional Uno. Homecoming, really go to every event. Even if you have to skip class, it's okay. Because one day, that year's going to get, the, your last year's going to get here, and it's going to be your last time and you won't believe it, but you're gonna miss it. So just go to every event. Yeah, uh, kind of going off that, like you could only have your first homecoming here like once. So when you're looking back and you're 40 or 60 and you're reminiscing <laughs> on the good old days, what are you gonna remember? Um, Not class. <laughs> like, don't go home. Like, don't start homecoming strong. Start it strong at the lighting of the smokestack on October 11th, be there enjoy it, you know, go to all the events throughout the week, go to the game, go to the tailgate, meet people, talk to alumni, have a great time, enjoy yourself. It's a really fun week and you should totally enjoy it like I'm about to enjoy this marshmallow. Sorry, I got emotional. I want a hug. Stop. Hey, you made me sad. <laughs> I don't want to leave. No tears. That's what I told myself this semester is no tears until the end. Too late. <laughs> you old people. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. Hashtag Olana. Yes. Hashtag five-year plan, though. I recommend it. I had to give her a Keanu hug. 
But that's it for this week's Sex and Talk. Happy Hoko!